Hello everybody, welcome back to City Skylines. So in the previous episodes we'll build the stadium. We've got some parking for it as well. Nice that people are using it. We've got the uphill area, we've got the university area, some parking of course. And we have a efficient transport hub as well with monorail, train, buses, and even a metro system. Now I haven't done anything with the metro I have planned uh, to use that for a future episode so today we'll be focusing on the oil industry area so I'm going to talk about my strategy here how I've managed my traffic because if you play city skylines and you must know that traffic is a big issue in city skylines and especially with the industry DLC you get a lot of it so uh, first things that um, First thing that I would like to share about is the game obviously uses mod. This game uses mod. Uh, if you play in vanilla, however, you won't have this much traffic because, as you can see, I'm playing with despawning off. So in vanilla, you'll have this on. So what that does is uh, it will remove the traffic. So you can see a lot of less cars are moving here and there now. So uh, you won't have uh, that big of an issue if you're playing in vanilla. But however, if you are playing with mods, then you might as well turn this off to make yourself more challenging. So the strategy that I've used for this uh, oil industry area is the first of all, uh, there is a highway connection over here, which is led from through the main highway, which goes around, goes underneath the tunnel, comes straight off and joins this intersection and goes off over here then comes down and goes to this intersection so this roundabout uh, I've added an extra slip lane which allows them to directly skip this roundabout turn to get access to these part so I've done that because um, a lot of trucks were using the roundabout and the roundabout wasn't being able to handle the amount of traffic that it was getting so uh, with this slip lane what I've allowed the trucks to do is if I come to over here then the trucks who are going over here can now choose to go this lane or use that lane to go to their respective places so I've provided them, I've provided them with an additional option which is always good and I have done the same thing in the opposite lane as well. So if trucks are coming in from here, they have an access road that can directly lead them to the main road instead of going around this roundabout, which obviously means less traffic. Now, so the main thing that I've uh, done is segregation. So if it comes to the oil in the over here, you can see that. There are extractor buildings, processing buildings, unique factories, and commercial zones. So these are actually the steps on how the uh, materials are processed in your city. So we have the extraction zone over here. So this whole area is extraction zone. And they are connected in such a way that they are segregated in their own specific lane. So the trucks come in here. I've got four lanes. Two lanes goes in. To this way and they go straight on who are not going to these places they can go straight on and they have three lanes over here which uh, means that one goes off two goes on one goes off and another one goes on straight so if you come over to the resource tab you can see that the oil is from here to there and each individual uh, corners of this extraction area is segregated in their own area so therefore to get access to this uh, place you can use you can only use this road to come in and that road to go out and same goes for this area and same goes for this area and same goes for this one and they are uh, all together collected in a major road which again follows the lin mathematics so two one plus one two two comes here two lane comes here plus one three three lanes comes here and then you have six lanes. Now I've used time traffic light over here. The reason I've done that is uh, every single uh, building has their own individual trucks. So they have individual trucks. That means that 
these extractor buildings will have their own trucks the storage buildings will have, have their own trucks and their trucks will go will want to go to the respective facilities so since there is no way to access uh, to this area via this route and that route so they are bound to take this uh, road to gain access to these buildings so people will often use this road to gain access to th this building as well so this is more of a uh, highly prioritized road so since that's happening i've got three lanes so that they could choose whatever uh, whichever lane they want to choose uh, to be in this road and uh, the time traffic light allows them to uh, for uh, the one phase of the time traffic light allows this part of the road to move and they can choose whatever lane they want and the other phase allows this side of the traffic which is coming from the other extractor buildings and choose whatever lane they want uh, you could uh, merge them into a six lane road but what that does is they will want to change lanes and when um, uh, when they try to switch lanes since there is a lot of traffic what will be there will be a traffic clog up and the traffic won't be allowed to move freely so the time traffic light was the best solution i could think of and it works out very nicely and over here i've got an individual exit so uh, the extractor building trucks if they just want to export uh, their oil uh, out of the city they can take this road and go straight on the roundabout and exit to the highway or if they want to use the train terminal they could come here take this lane to go over here and go to the train station and they would want to go back as well so they will follow this road go over here and come around take this roundabout and come off to their respective buildings so it goes in a circular pattern it always helps if you use segregation in your builds and then if the trucks uh, wants to store then they use uh, these two lanes and an oval about separates them into specific zones so we've got a lot of storage over here each trucks go in there and store their oil and come out and they could use this road to exit and go around and take this road to go to the extractor buildings as well so that's the extraction part of the build now uh, what you want to do is keep your stories in empty mode so when that when you do that what happens is you are forcing the game to uh, forcing the buildings to ex export your uh, oil resource so if you were to put it on fill then they will prioritize not exporting your oil but you want to export your oil over here and you want to make some money and uh, what these uh, uh, storages does is they also improve the efficiency of these buildings and they help to give uh, these buildings resources as well so these are like the supply hub uh, of the build now once that happens the trucks from the oil industry from the storage buildings they either go to the train station taking this road or taking that road or taking this road around here to end up over this junction either they could take the road to export via trucks or they could come around here and take the cargo train stay go to the cargo train station to export via trains and if they don't want to do that and supply uh, resources to these production buildings they will take uh, take this road they'll come around take this road go around and if they want to get into this area they will go straight on now i've done some lane mathematics over here as well so four goes to three three goes one off so two two goes one on so three again and goes to four and one goes off goes down to three one goes off goes down to two one goes off goes down to one again they can join this road as well so by doing that uh you are really focusing on you are really segregating the traffic and the trucks can move more freely if they want to go to these buildings they will end up taking this road going in on any areas then they could join uh these collector roads and go to the roundabout take this road again go to the main roundabout and swing around to their respective buildings so this uh 
This road also works as the big collector road for the extractor buildings. Then we come up to the uh, high speed uh, skip that I like to call it. Uh, so if your extractor buildings or if your building, your truck is owned by these buildings or these buildings over here, they don't want, you don't want them to go around over here, take all this long route to get over here. So what I've done is I've added a slip lane which allows them to just go off and go off again and go to this area and then then they can split off into their respective buildings so there are four roads again so one swings around comes over here so these buildings get access to that road one goes off swings around here these buildings get access to it these um, one goes off from here and these low, lower buildings get access to, from that road and if you take that road then you get access to these buildings at the top and they are collected as well over here now once that's done, these buildings will want to either export or store their goods. So what happens is uh, these two roads will end up over here. The, the traffic from these two roads will end up over here. Now, if you are off on this road, then you could uh, take this route, go over here to the storage buildings. And again, the storage buildings are set on empty. So you are prioritizing exports rather than storing your uh, products so that you can generate a lot of money and these buildings can then uh, choose if, uh, to export via trains or export via road if they want to uh, export via roads then they will take this lower road and then join back to the main road without going to every single road over here or if they want to export via trains then they can go straight off and go to the train station over here so production area cargo, this is the extraction area cargo. So these are the two train stations that I'm using and I've also split the train tracks so that they don't do some weird merges and causes uh, cause delay. And what I've also done is uh, I've added another slip lane for them to join this road so that they can go to other places to the production buildings drop off to do that. And also, I have also added this uh, another slip lane so that doing this lane to go to the extraction part if they want to. Now, coming back over here, uh, now only these uh, these roads have access to the storage uh, from this road. For these roads, however, they could you come over here and they could use this road to come over here, bridge across everywhere and ex export their uh, products via road or if they want to use the cargo station then they come down this is like a big collector they go around the roundabout come over here and then they take this lane over here to come over here, bridge across now they got options either they want to store uh, in the warehouses then they can choose this bridge to go down over here and store or they could swing around and go to the cargo train terminals if they want to do that or if they just want to uh, get off from this area then they can use this road to swing around here come down and take this road or if they want to go back they can come around take this road and join this road again so what i'm doing is i'm adding a lot of uh, options for the trucks to move and these uh, buildings, they come over here, take this roundabout, go around, and they come off over here as well and take this road to go over here, and they can either choose to go to this warehouse or come around, take this cargo terminal, or go straight across for this uh, storage as well. So that's all the segregation that I've done over here. There are a lot of things that I've uh, considered in my build so there's a time traffic light here again so it, that allows for this trucks to move in one phase and the other one allows this road to have access so might as well make this a bit longer since there's a lot of delay over there so might as well make this six start the time traffic light and you these uh, trucks have a lot of options to choose from where they want to go now uh, moving on uh, what we have now is we have covered up the production zone now 
let's see how the production trucks come back so if you uh, if you've delivered your goods over here then you will take your road where you take this road come over here and you would want to go back to these facilities as quick as possible so you come around here you take this road and then if you are from this lane then you go around here if you are from these area then you take this bridge come off over here if you are from this road then you go a bit forward go down over here join this road and if you are further more up then you go over here swing around and join this road back so this uh, area is completely covered for this area however it goes all the way down go straight you go straight again you can turn over here go straight then and you take this small road and take this slip lane road back to your bases so there are again four separate production areas that i've done and that's how this oil industry operates it might seem a lot but if you just follow the basic principles then you'll get on to it and the profits for the oil industry it varies uh, it is not constant if you come over here it's 94,000 right now it will it will go down to 60 or 30 it can go up to 100,000 it depends and you would want to uh, turn on all of these so that it's more efficient and you want to consider these as well so you are extracting a uh, 339 barrels of oil out of which 209 barrels are turned into petroleum and 235 tons are turned into plastics and by the looks of it uh, the oil is not sufficient for these uh, buildings so uh, this area this main building will order your other buildings to import oil from other resources so for that the cargo trains come down over here take this terminal and from here trucks come out and they use this road to take oil into the other areas other uh, production buildings via these roads which i explained earlier and to improve efficiency more furthermore you could add some workers barracks some maintenance buildings here and there just make sure that they got access and put a fire station and police station close to the roads that have the most access to so for this uh, oil industry this road in the middle has the more access to the uh, different parts of the build and yeah so that's how you do it